Chauncey, Susie, good evening to both of you as well. The Archdiocese, by the way, we should mention, has previously paid hundreds of millions of dollars to victims in various settlements. So this latest settlement now puts the total payout at more than $1.5 billion. That is an incredibly high number, but one that attorneys for the victims and representatives for the Archdiocese say is only a small part of the healing process. A massive multi-million dollar settlement in a significant and decades long legal battle. Announced today by the Archdiocese of Los Angeles and the Plaintiff's Liaison Committee, $880 million has agreed to be paid to settle more than 1,300 childhood sexual abuse claims filed against local Catholic priests. This is the largest single child sex abuse settlement with a Catholic archdiocese, according to attorneys representing the victims. It's a phenomenal number to get to. But to be honest, there's no number that will will make these kids whole. It's a sentiment shared by Dr. Heather Banus, the Victims Assistance Ministry Coordinator for the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. I'm heartened by that, even as I'm heartbroken, to think of all the pain, of all the pain and all the harm that was done. The claims were filed under California Assembly Bill 218. Passed in 2019, it significantly expanded the rights of survivors of childhood sexual abuse to seek justice through civil lawsuits. That includes opening a three-year window for previously time-barred claims. If you're a, a survivor who is 60 or 70 years old and you were abused in the 1970s or 80s by a clergy member, before this bill exists, you could do nothing about it. The latest settlement was approved by Archbishop Jose H. Gomez, who said in a letter released today that the funds for this will come from reserves, archdiocese investments, loans, and other assets. The archbishop also wrote, quote, I am sorry for every one of these incidents from the bottom of my heart. My hope is that this settlement will provide some measure of healing for what these men and women have suffered. Trauma is not something you get over, it's something you get through. And so this marks an important milestone in the healing journey for 1,353 people, hopefully. For the Archdiocese, that means remaining present now and in the future for anyone who needs help. We want to walk with you. We want to help you heal. We want to understand what your needs are. We hope that the settlement fills a piece of that. And payments from the settlement are expected to be made in 2025 and 2026. In the meantime, in that letter we previously mentioned, the Archbishop promised, and we want to make sure we cite it correctly here, that the church will remain vigilant to make sure that no one serving in the ministry will harm a minor ever again. Reporting in downtown LA this evening, I'm Gio Insignores, KKL News.